Our Lord declared that man shall leave his father and mother and unite with his wife in the building of a home, and the two shall become one flesh. With that in mind, who gives the bride to be married? We do. Hannah and Hannah, the home is built upon love, which virtues are best portrayed in the 13th chapter of 1 Corinthians. In that Bible passage, Scripture says that love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but always rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never ends. So faith, hope, and love abide these three, but the greatest of these is love. Because of that, Tanner and Hannah, you're exhorted to dedicate your home to the Creator. Take His Word, the Bible, make that your guide, give loyal devotion to His church, thus joining the mutual strength of these two most important institutions, living your lives as His willing servants, and then true happiness will be your temporal as well as eternal reward. Let us bow for prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we pray that you would bestow your grace upon this marriage. We pray that you would seal these commitments of your children with your love. As you brought them together by your divine providence, we ask that you would sanctify them by your Spirit, that they may give themselves fully, one to the other and to thee. Lord, give them strength and patience to live their lives in a manner that will mutually bless each other and honor your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I promise to love you unconditionally, day in and day out, to always make you the top priority in my life. I promise to never lose track of why I fell in love with you and to never let you forget just how much you mean to me. To always be there to love and support you through whatever life is throwing at us, I promise to do everything I can to make you the happiest woman possible and to never resist snuggling. Most of all, I promise to cherish you always and forever. Love you. Oh, okay. Okay. Tanner, I'm incredibly honored to be your wife and I promise to love you for every second of every day for the rest of our lives. I love how you shake your head and call me a goof when I do something silly. I love how you look at me with incredible longing before you kiss me. I love how you spin me around all the time. I love how you encourage me to be a better person. I love how you put your faith in God first and encourage me to do the same. I love how you graciously and selflessly put my feelings and ambitions before your own. I love how you instinctively kiss my forehead when I nudge my face towards you. <laughs> I absolutely love doing life with you. Today I want to make promises to you that I will always keep. I promise to be your best friend, your biggest fan, and your supporter when you need someone to lean on. I promise to stand by you in times of sadness and to celebrate with you in times of happiness. I promise to greet you each day with a hug and a kiss. I promise to laugh with you until we cry. I promise to binge watch The Office with you. <laughs> I promise to slow dance with you every chance I get. I promise to grow alongside you, but also to not grow up. I promise to love, respect, protect, honor, and trust you. I promise to give you the best of myself, for I know that together we will build a life far better than either of us can imagine. I promise to love you unconditionally with my whole heart. Romans 12:20 says, 
Love each other with genuine affection and take delight in honoring each other. I love you.